this is my new mug. I've got some tea with soy milk. Um, so my favourite mug, which has appeared in a different video, sadly, broke. I smashed it, guys. But I have this new mug, which I quite like. Not as much as the old mug. And I endure. Okay, this is my Springathon um, tubia. Uh, but it's not sure if he's engaging with Springathon, so we shall see about that. But I've got. Oh, hang on, hang on. I need another book. Okay, so there's five prompts. Um, they're kind of like nature books or um, novels with kind of nature writing in them. So I've got a little bit of a mix. I've got three non-fiction and I've got one fiction. And each prompt, yeah, it's just quite simple. So the first prompt is bird. So it can either be a book which has got birds in the title, bird on the cover, or about birds. And I am going to read um, Crow Country by Mark Crocker, which is about birds. <laughs> Um, a flock of rooks and jackdaws which regularly passed over his Norfolk home and then he goes in search of them. I kind of I've read some crow books before and I'm like quite quite interested in a in a bit of a crow a crow story. Um Yeah. I have a feeling my friend Grace gave me this, but I'm not sure. I know she gave me something. She didn't give me this one, it's something really similar. So that is my crow and uh, my bird prompt. My water prompt I don't have, but I was gonna read Salt Path. But we'll put a picture. I can't remember who wrote it either. But I know that it's got water on the cover and also it's about kind of um walking along the coastline. Animal, I'm gonna go with this one, which Bert got me for Christmas, I think, which is our symphony with animals, and it just looks so beautiful. So it's on health, empathy, and our shared destinies by Aisha Akhtar, um, and it looks, yeah, it looks really lovely. And it's um, a leader in the field of animal ethics and neurology. So I just think it sounds like super interesting, and I just think that cover is just so beautiful as well. And then plant. Um, this is my fiction. Um, I'm going for Idaho by Emily Ruskovich because it's got some plants on the front. But also it sounds a little bit naturey because they go to um, a mountain clearing to collect birch wood. And then travel. I'm going for Things I Learned From Falling, which was about kind of travelling along, kind of going through a, a sort of desert hike thing in California um, by Claire Nelson. So is that that's my little um my little pile of books for Springathon. I'll let you know how I get on with those. Um also today what I'm reading, I mentioned that I was reading the Joan Didion Miami, which I am enjoying, but I kind of um uh feel like I wanted to read some fiction at the same time. So Joan is my non fiction and then I've also picked back up Tears on the Prince of Crows by Deborah K. Davis, which I've previously started and then kind of put down. Um it's a Welsh novel set in the 70s. I know that Mercedes and Charlotte both really enjoyed it, um, but I wasn't sure when I picked it the first time, and I'm not sure if the um, style of writing is quite to my taste, um, but I'm going to... But I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm only on page 26, so I'm going to read a little bit more of that today. Uh, yeah. And then the other one I've kind of got to just flick through. I don't think I've mentioned this one before, which is one that I got in my macab macabre box, and it's The Seasonal Soul, A Mystic's Guide to Inner Transformation by Lauren Aletta. But it's just like, it goes through each season, but it's just really um, kind of lovely book that's kind of almost like scrapbooky. So I thought it was really beautiful as well. So that's that. That's what I'm reading today. Um, yeah. Be back in a bit. Yeah. You like a list, don't you? I'm just doing lists. Yeah, 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 lists and projects. That's about as creative as I can get, mm -hmm. is doing lists. Yeah. I've, I'm starting to write down all the films I'm watching. Yeah, you've watched a lot of films. Yeah, I'm trying to get at least two done a day. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's a hard mm. work. But, mm. but um, Lollipop Man, you've got to find something to do and he's not crossing the kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. 
if you watched uh, the video, the last video put up, which was our recent reads, um, I'm also wearing this outfit. So you might think we're it's the same day, but it's not. It's the day after. Um, but I'm in the same outfit as I'm going for the kind of just wear the same outfit all week unless you've got multiple zooms at work then you might need to mix up your cardigans so just wear it all week and then just wash it at the end of the week that's what I'm kind of working with um, yeah also in the last video before we started it I said to Bert check my hair and he checked it and yet when I watched it back it still had that weird kind of like bit sort of sticking out but I think today I think we're okay. So I'm just going to read for a minute. I've got my crochet blankie. I'm um, going to read a bit of Tursa. Very much enjoy the cover of Tursa. Okay, they just found this old London review of books from uh, from 2016. And there was a... Remember this Angela Carter book that came out? I think we intended to get it at the time. Um, but yeah, it's an article on that by Jenny Turner. And the book was by Edmund Gordon. Um, Angela's looking particularly cool, I think, in this picture. It's a strong look. It's kind of like an early Kate Bush kind of thing going on. It's, it's a nice hat. I like this collar. Looks like some nice knitwear as well. Yeah. By two lines. Um, <laughs> I feel that... Um... The character in this, who I think is meant to be like about, she, yeah, she's 16, but she feels kind of quite young. I don't know if it's kind of meant to be because it's like 1974 and she's living in a kind of quite closed community and um, her, her family's really religious. Uh, but she fe it feels like she's maybe about 10 rather than 16. Yeah. It's a plant. A palmer yeah. plant. Lovely plant. Um, but in the soil little succulents and things have fallen and they've all little started to grow but very recently we've discovered this little thing you see that from i think from that plant over there i don't know how it's managed to <laughs> get over here and and land and then kind of grow but it's really cute and um it's obviously growing this way towards the light, but then there's also little other little baby succulents about to grow there. You see those tiny ones? Looks like a little alien landscape if you get really close up. <laughs> What's happening, Betty? I'm uh, listening to. Sounds of the 90s with Fern Cotton. He listened to a little bit of salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Um, while reading The Most Dangerous Place on Earth. Is that book set in the 90s? I, it doesn't actually say when it's set, but I think it's um, set now because okay. they've all got... Are kids in America allowed to just have their mobile phones out during class? I don't know kids, what kids in the do. UK are as well, Bertie. During class? Well, they use them for work. Oh. It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> It's just like, I can't even believe it. Really. Well, well, yeah. well. I mean, we didn't have email when I was at school. So. You're an old man. Yeah, times have changed. But I just think, <laughs> yeah, so they're sort of texting whilst in class. It's, yeah, it's it's a good good book. Yeah. I don't think, all classic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think um, it's amazingly written, but it's not badly written either. It's that kind of writing where you don't really notice what you're confusing. We're waiting for a package, aren't we? We're... We've got 20 stops away, aren't we? Yeah. yeah it's got, got... Is it vegan kind package or whatever? It's for? got sour candy kittens in there for me. Yeah, and sausages. I see you. Yeah. <laughs> it's here. Vegan <laughs> kind are unofficial sponsor of lockdown. <laughs> yep. But they could become our official sponsor. If they want to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Hit us up. We've got lots of subscribers. Yeah, so yeah, so many. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. This unboxing. We've got butter beans. Nice. Nice, nice. Pop them there. Yeah. Love vegan. Rich cacao and is. cashew. Yeah, it looks like a kind of healthy chopped dried fruit and nut bar 
Oh, one for me. Yeah. Buttercups. Oh, that sounds good. Cookie dough flavour. Yeah. Yes. Oh, these ones I was interested in. Chocolate eclair. <laughs> Salted peanut. Chocolate. Oh, I see what they've done there. Yeah, yeah. they've done it good, haven't they? Island. It looks... They're from Ireland. Oh, yeah. It looks... Uh... Yeah, they look quite good. They do, don't they? Mm. Nice what... packaging. Yeah. I'm kind of interested. Oh, I'm going to open it. It's just like a chocolate bar, really. Nice. Yeah, and it's compostable plastic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Although good. Although we can't do anything about it anyway. Yeah. Um, Bert's favourite. Oh, the salted, uh, salted caramel, caramel numbers. numbers. Yeah, those are, those are good. Also, Bert said you like this one. Silky coconut flavour. Um, yeah, I've gone off the on bars a bit, so I'm starting to really like these Nomos and um, vegan organic ones. The raw ones. Raw company, yeah. yeah. Baked beans. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> oh, some sweet chilli slabs. <laughs> slabs. Yes, mellow sweet chilli. Yeah. Perfect. Um, these featured in Bert's favourites. Yeah. Some Loch Ness. Oh, you got two packs. Vanilla creams. Brilliant. White chocolate. Oh yeah. Vegan white chocolate. Yeah. <gasps> Smarties. <laughs> chocolate covered peanuts. Oh, these are new. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Interesting. Chocolate covered crunchies. These are good. Yeah. yeah. Crunchy bites. Yeah. Big fan. Um, bonsai. Oh, bonsai. Fancy milk. Fancy milk. Yeah. Two Oatleys. Oh, we've got a lot of Oatly at the moment. Yeah. yeah. Fully stocked up on Oatly. Yep. Yeah. Crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, we like this. Yummelo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yummelo. Mm. Well, this is a bit boring, these ones. Smoked paprika and rosemary. Oh, look at the packaging there. I know. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's tiny. I thought it was a bigger one. Sour watermelon, gourmet it's sweets, it's candy kittens. Fine. That's probably enough candy That's just kittens, like, sins, isn't it? Yeah, you just have them in one go. I'm literally going to eat one now. I'm starving. I'm going to eat a... I don't think you'd like a candy Oh, kitten. they got fruit in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> candy kittens. I didn't order this. I don't think. Oh, really? Uh, chocolate, chocolate hazelnut mm. milk. That's for you. Yeah, but can't eat hazelnuts. Well, quite More baked beans. beans. Thank the Lord. You know, got like some. They will send you frozen stuff. Oh yeah, and it'll have like a big thing of ice in there mm. as well. Or cold stuff. Yeah. So they put like an ice thing in there. Oh, yeah. sorry, do you want to have a look in? We have got. Vegan spreadable. Nice. We've got Virginia steak. <laughs> Made out of Satan. Yeah, yeah, we'll give that a go, isn't it? We've got um, sausages. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have those for lunch. We've got. I haven't tried this one. Berlin bacon. Is it like chunks? Mm. Bacon chunks. It mm. describes it as high protein smoked bacon flavoured blocks. Oh. Made from a mixture of vegetables, grains and beans. Those vegan companies really know how to sell a sell yep. a product. I've got smoked flavour block, nice. Biolife and some Applewood, which is nice. my favourite vegan cheese, I think. Yeah, those are both good, aren't they, yeah. I think? And the last thing is some smoked tempeh. Yeah! Oh, now what a brilliant package. Yeah! We are fully is. stocked. We'll have another sour kitten.
hyperactive and energized and I don't know, excited. I don't know. I still feel so like tingly when I think about this moment because it was such an important uh, memory for me and experience for me as a kid. Um, Noel's art club, Noel Fielding, who has an art club mostly for children. I wonder um, if people, if. Uh... Do you think Mighty... Oh, no, people know him from um, Bake Off in America, wouldn't they? I was just thinking if yeah. Mighty Boosh might be a very UK-based thing. I don't know. Who watches Mighty Boosh out there? Everyone? Yeah. Um, anyway, so he's got a uh, Saturday art club that he does during the lockdown period. Um, and today's theme is magic. So I've drawn um, the 80s magician David Copperfield, who I remember growing up, He, um, I think he walked through the... Great Wall of China mm. once. And then he also, which was like a big TV special, he escaped from Alcatraz. Mm. Do you remember that? No, I didn't see any of these. Uh, that's probably, uh, maybe that's on YouTube. I'll see if I can try it. I'd love to watch that again. He, um, yeah, the only man that could escape from Alcatraz and walk through the Great Wall of China. Wow. And do you mind holding up your picture so we can see it this properly, as picture. well as your face? Because it's hard to get you both in. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm very, very good at art. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm a really good drawer, as you can see. I love it. I love his teeny tiny hands. Um, I mean, I, this bottom bit is his lip. Yeah, yeah. Is that like a, like a lip? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Um, so his, his hands, I had to give him a few more rings than he, than he had on the, the original picture. Mm -hmm. Which is... Is that if you can see that? Yeah, yeah. Because when I drew it, I his um kind of jawline went a bit too yeah. far into where his yeah. fingers are supposed yeah. to go, so I had to just cover that up with some rings. I don't think you'd notice that. I don't think so. No. I mean, you're mainly aware of his tiny hands yeah. rather than the rings. Yeah, I'm not sure how many fingers he's got there. But I think he's got a couple of <laughs> small, small fingers. It looks like he's got five fingers yeah, and then a thumb. Put a nail on that one. Yeah. Some, yeah, more realistic. Oh gosh, yeah. Now he looks like yeah. he's yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, and that's that. That's done, I think. That's wonderful. Yeah, we need write... to take a picture and put it on Instagram, don't Not we? Twitter. That I need to write who it is. I just no. put it on there. But... Great job, Bertie. Thank you. Amazing. Bit of Copperfield. Be able to edit the front or the end off of this video. Crunchy like bites. So there may be a little bit of sort of me faffing the camera. Just immerse themselves in books and I wish that that had happened to me and I wonder if maybe separated for many months and hell I, last I heard she was in California I didn't know she was in Mexico but you do know her friend uh, Mary Elizabeth no I didn't know her well oh no wait I've met her once when my sister and I went to California to settle up my wife's affairs is that when you gave her the note on your memo paper the note we found in her purse didn't give her a note on my memo paper I told you that and your business card with your home telephone number written in. I don't suppose you know where she's Hi, Johnny. Hi. What you doing? I'm going to go out on a walk. You're going to go for your walk? Yeah. Do you know where you're going to go? Probably around the park again. Yeah. Um, not really enjoying the walks because we live in a very, we live in a city. It's quite busy, isn't it? Do you, like, I just walk into the field rather than along the path? I do. You do that? Yeah. Because there's no way you can walk on the path and stay in apart from people no. is there? and then do you just walk in the middle of the road rather than on the sidewalk bit? Yeah. well unless, yeah, unless yeah, there's I, a car I do it appropriately yeah yeah yeah, well, yeah, yeah. you'll be okay then yeah and listen to a podcast so i've given up on audiobooks they're not for me um but i'm going to listen to a spiritual podcast what's it called um well i was i did listen to a yoga girl one which i really enjoyed and then I accidentally, when I went yesterday, started like an astrology one, which I thought was 20 minutes, turned out it was two hours. So I'm only a bit of the way through that, so I'll be, and it's way over my head, all this astrology podcast, it's about 12th house. Um, so you're going to carry on with that today? I'll carry on with that, yeah, yeah. That sounds like a good one, I'd listen yeah. to that. Also, mm -hmm. whose drawing got retweeted? Mine. Yeah, no, it feels it retweeted your drawing. Wow. Well, <laughs> it's a really good drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And
my last sunrise. This is a an interview with a vampire candle. Hang on, it's uh, wild orange and some other stuff I can't read without my glasses. I guess I'll vlog in here with the bath, maybe. Um, I have got in my bath some um, faith in nature, talking about body shop, making a good bubble. Um, and I don't know what's my hair. I've been kind of getting into these. Alberto Gianni. It's like vegan, a full souffle. That's all I got. Also still reading um, The Most Dangerous Place. Um, I've read a little chunk of it so far. This is by Lindsay Lee Johnson. It's kind of very much um, lots of bad stuff happening around an American high school. So um, there's stuff about like internet bullying. There's um, teacher-student relationships. There's drugs. Uh, yeah, but I am sort of getting through it much quicker than I suspected I would. Yeah, is that because you pressed something to do with that? that... Um, we're just ending the... <laughs> a little bit of a gap there. <laughs> we're just Where ending... Let me see. I, don't know, I think it's just where it's fallen. Yeah. We're just ending the vlog here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, been cleaning today. Oh, we have. Yeah, we moved the bed and the sofa and hoovered lots of... Uh, dust and dead moths and gross bits. That was nice, yeah. yeah. To be fair, you did most of it, but I, yeah. I, I assisted. You pitched in. I pitched in. It's a team yeah. effort. Yeah. Team Lapa story. Yay! Um, we hope that you're having a lovely weekend. Um, it's been really nice, hasn't it? Yeah, we've had a lovely yeah. weekend. Yeah. Um, and we'll see you at some point in the week. Um, what's happening this week? Spring upon. Yes, starting. spring upon starts tomorrow. I'm yeah. I'm working this week. Yeah. Like the whole well, you know, Monday to Thursday I'll be working. Yeah. Um but yeah, spring is on. I don't know what else. Um what about you? We've got an announcement to make for the um my so called life nineties book club. Oh my gosh, wait for that. We've um, picked the next book. So yeah, we'll do a little a quick round up video. Um so anyone that wants to join in on that, feel free. I was watching um Lauren and the Books video yeah. earlier and her partner David gave himself this film I just thought maybe you needed a film challenge he gave himself a film channel challenge of watching all the Disney films and it was right. something and over a week and it was something like seven a day I'm not going to do that <laughs> but um, I did we watched well Sean had seen Nightmare on Elm Street before like the original um, I've never seen it before so we watched that last night and I loved it and as soon as I sort of watch the first in a massive series of films, I just kind of want to watch them all. So I might see if I can watch all of the Nightmare on Elm Street. I also love Friday the 13th. So I'm on number three at the moment. Um, and the Halloween series as well. I kind of like a horror series. So I might do something like that. We will we'll see. Um, but yeah, not much on for me, otherwise. Yay! Have a nice week. Ciao. <laughs> Bye.